Welcome to Illustrate the Snippets. Episode 14 this week. Grids. In this episode, I will show you how you can use grids to make your life and work much easier. Of course, in Illustrator there are more ways for everything, also with grids. I will show you how you can work with grids native in Illustrator in the preference panel, but I'll also show you another way that I like more convenient. And with some artwork, it's more helpful to do it that way. I will show you why and how you can use that. So I hope you like this episode. And if you want to see more of episodes like this, let me know in the comments. Let's dive in. Welcome to this episode. In this episode, we are talking about grids. There are more options. The first option I want to show you is uh, from the preference uh, panel. So go to Illustrator preferences. Then you see guides and grid. And you get this window. Here you can choose the color of the grid. Normally it's gray, but if you want another color, you can choose it here. You can choose if you, you want lines or dots. Mm, standard is lines. You can say grid boxes of 100 pixels and every box is divided by 10. So there are 10 little boxes in the 100 pixels of 10 pixels. I will show you. So if I click OK, nothing happens. At least it seems. That's true because you only told Illustrator which settings you want. You didn't tell it to show the grid and standard it's not shown. So go to view and if you then say show grid, comment, comma, now you see the grid. I have my rulers already on view rulers show. So if they are not on on your computer yet, with which is standard, you go to view and turn them on. So this grid will help you um, make any art. I will turn off my grid, hide grid, and there is a tool, and that's called the grid tool. You have the line segment tool, you can select it by the backslash, but then it only selects the first one, the line segment tool. But if you go down, you have the arc tool, spiral tool, and the rectangular grid tool. You also have a polar grid tool for circular grids. But today I'm only showing you this one. If you want to hear more about this grid tool, let me know in the comments and I will make a special video only about this one. For now, rectangular grid tool. Now I can drag it, but under command C to undo, I like to just click, then I get an options panel. Normally I take the size of the artboard, but for now I will make it 500 by 500. So you can make it any size you want. Um, here you can tell how many dividers you want. Horizontal and vertical. I will make it first like this, 5 by 5 to show you that it makes now 6 boxes. I will show you why. I push OK. I push V on my keyboard for the selection tool so I can, I can put it anywhere I want. That's one advantage. Now you see I have six boxes, horizontal, six boxes, vertical. And that's because I told it how many dividers I want. One, two, three, four, five. The box around it is not counted. So that means I have six boxes. So you need one less divider than boxes you want. So if I want five boxes, I need four dividers. I will show you. I can delete this one. I will select the tool again, click once. And if I want to have five boxes, I need to make four dividers. So four dividers horizontal and four dividers vertical. Okay, and now you see I have five by five boxes. And this whole box is 500 by 500 pixels. A V on my keyboard select it. I will put the properties panel here. If you don't see that, go to window 
open the properties panel here. You can see it tells me that it's 500 by 500. So here I can tell it the position where I want it to start, where I want my grid to be. So to position it exactly, you can use the X and Y options here. You see it's on the X at 425 and a half. And maybe you say, but that's not correct because it's here at about, well, 180 maybe. Well, that's true. I'll show you. In this little box, you can tell it from where you need the measurement. It's measuring from the middle now. So the middle of this box, you can see, is about 425. So that's correct. So if I change it to the top corner, now it's about 180, 175 and a half. So if I push it to zero, you will see it in the going to the left. The same is for this one. You have to go from this corner. So to put it up, zero. Now it's in the complete zero, zero top left. But you need to be aware that this tells you where it measures from. So if I put it in the middle again, you will see the middle here is at two and a half because it's 500 and this is the half of 500 down and it's five, 250 from the left so and if i put it in the right bottom corner it's 500 500 here so if it isn't correct in your eyes the measurement here then check your box here where it's measuring from standard was in the middle so i put it to the top left but I don't want it in the top left. I could use a normal grid then. I want it at 200 and 300 vertical. This is the place and it must be 500 by 500. The last thing I want to show you, I told you in the beginning from the normal grid, from the preference panel, that it's not selectable. So it's not in the way. Now I can select this one and accidentally Push it, push it down or up or whatever. So what I can do is go to view. So what I can do is, this is now an, not a grid actually, but an object, a grid object. And you can see that here too, that it calls it a group. It's actually a group of lines. If I pull up the layer panel, I have it here, so just a minute. You can see if I open the group, it's just a bunch of paths. All those lines, vertical and horizontal, are separate parts and it's grouped together. So I can do here in the layer panel, if you're familiar with that, you can push here the lock button. Now you see it's not selectable anymore. But if you're not familiar with the layer panel, you can also go to object. Oh, sorry, I have to select it first. Object. Uh, you can hide it, of course, but we don't want that. And you can lock it. Lock selection. Now you can't select it anymore, but if I go to the rectangle tool again with the M on my keyboard, it will help me to place my cursor on the exact place I want. Look, it's exactly 200 by 200. I think, I don't know why, but this grid works easier. Maybe because you have that intersect here and I think it's more precise. So I like this grid more than the regular grid, but that's your, the preference you have. You know both of them, how they work now. So I would say work with what works for you best. I hope you liked this video. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks for watching.